What's going on, kings and queens? It's Mitchell Chance, the voice of revolution, expose of minds to truth. Shout out to my main man, Sean Watson, LizzieLynnHair.com. Got me wearing hats, and I don't even really wear hats, but I rock my man brand like it's my own. Listen, I'm seeing a whole lot of uh, chatter about the woman that Tyrese just married and the fact that he called her a black queen. And she looks a little Middle, middle Eastern, really light, doesn't really look like a black woman, but uh, come to find out she's half black, half white. And there are a lot of people who are having an issue uh, with him calling her a black queen, or I guess with him being uh, somewhat pro-black and then marrying a woman who looks like that. But So there's a talk about interracial people. How do we respond to interracial people? Do we accept them? Do we shun them? Now, when we look historically, uh, ever since we've been here, uh, we've had interracial people in our midst because of what the slave masters would do. Uh, they would rape our women. And if you deal with the Willie Lynch letter, again, it's available on revolutionaryuniversity.com. I break down the entire Willie Lynch letter. But when you break it down, he it was strategic in uh, putting some white blood into our people for the purpose. Well, for one of the purposes is to cause division, to make different shades of our people. So they would rape the women, uh, make the babies lighter, uh, mate. And it's crazy because it's humans, but they would mate uh, different people who are lighter to create all of these different shades uh, for the sole purpose of division. So when we are talking about interracial people now in 2017, now, of course, this, people are interracial because of rape. But still, as black people, we have to understand the division that has been used against us and find ways to not isolate somebody because of how light their skin is. They cannot control their skin. They cannot control um, who their parents were. Now, what I will say about interracial people is if they identify as black or even if they identify as half black, because we can't get mad uh, if they say, well, I am half white, like that is half of who they are. So we cannot get mad at that. But as long as they are not denouncing their African heritage, we can't have no issue with them. Because that would just be like being on the on the plantation and you mad at the baby who was born out of rape, who was half white, but still in the same conditions as you. Now, I could see if somebody was um, half white and they were trying to pass as white, like Charlie Sheen. Like, Charlie Sheen is Mexican. <laughs> Tony Romo is Mexican, but these dudes are trying to pass off as white. Now, if we had some black folks trying to pass off as white and they're denouncing all of their African um, uh, blood, then by all means, we, we got no dealing with them. But if people are admitting that they're black, if they are identifying as black or identifying as half black, we can't continue to push the same division that the slave master instilled in us in the first place. And if you read uh, Alvin Morrow's book, um, Breaking the Curse of Willie Lynch, he says a new slave is any person who carries on and and pushes the original will of the original slave master. So if we do anything that's just like what the slave master wanted us to do, then we are new slaves. We still got a, a slave mindset. So anything that we're going to be causing a divide over somebody's skin color because they're not dark enough, we can't operate like that. Again, if she was denouncing and acting like I'm not black and trying to totally pass off as white or trying to pass off as something else, then by all means, we would we, we definitely shun any interracial people who are like that. But if they identify and say, listen, I'm half black or fully identify as black, we can't be a part of colorism. We cannot be a part of colorism. For one, we know they're never going to be accepted in the white community in the first place if they identify as black. So they ain't going to have no choice but to rock with us. And why would we continue to divide ourselves over color when that is what the slave master wanted us to do in the first place? So those are my thoughts. Then we got to stop being mad if a black person marries somebody who's half white.
whether it's a man or a woman, because that's foolishness. They're still marrying a black person. Even though they half white, that's still a black person, as long as they are identifying with black. So we can't crucify a, a black man for marrying a half black woman because she is still our sister. So that's my thoughts on Tyrese and calling his woman a black queen. And if she identifies as black, it's not wrong with him calling her a black queen and also how we can deal with or how we should deal with interracial people. So listen, guys, it's a whole lot that they do psychologically to mess with our minds. So that's why I taught a class on or a webinar on breaking the mental curse of, of Willie Lynch. It's on revolutionaryuniversity.com. Go on there. Uh, the, the webinar is live right now. You can go on there and check it out. It's about an hour and 10 minutes long. I'm telling you, it breaks everything down about the letter, and it shows how those things are still manifesting themselves today and how we can mentally counter them and break that curse. And also, today and today only, you can get all five of my books for $49.99. I only got a couple of those bundle packages left, so if you want to get all five books at a cheap price, that's under $10 a piece. And the books are going for 20 so it's like everything is half off. So you can go on mchantspeaks.com, drop that $49.99 and get five books. But again, it's only a few of those bundles left. So if you want to get it, you better act now. And remember to always love black, buy black, and think black. I love y'all.